I'm here with um, Storm. Yeah, that's what's, me. What's the name of your company? Turntable. Turntable. Yeah. So, like, interesting story, right? I'm online for registration, mm -hmm. and I couldn't help but overhear you talking about your run this morning. Yeah. And I'm a huge... Anyone who knows me knows I'm into fitness and working. I'm into all the health mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, I was like, I have to talk to this guy. What do you uh, What do you do for Turntable? What we, so, I run the operations for Turntable. So, I'm our okay. COO. I've been here since day one. So, I've seen us go from being an idea all the way up to, like, a multi-million pound organization with 150 software engineers in Ghana. In Ghana, so yeah. Turntable is based in Ghana. That's correct. Yeah, all our software engineers are based in Ghana. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, what does um, Turntable do to support the open source community and so forth? Okay, so we've been partners with Finos now for a couple of years, uh -huh. uh, and we've been we've been really working on a project. It's called Woodchip. 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 Yeah, okay. which is built on top of Git proxy. Okay. So it's OSPO governance. So it allows employers who struggle to monitor what their employees are posting to open source it allows gives them that governance layer to set the controls and they can approve everything their employees submit so submit. That, that's that's interesting so what git proxy does yeah overall it helps companies monitor yeah. what their employees are posting to um the open source mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. and turntables built on top of that exactly yeah all right and for, and the, the project is called woodchip woodchip exactly yeah it's a host it's a hosted service so the thing with Git Proxy is you've got to set it up yourself, you've got to maintain it yourself, and if you want it to you want to add to it, you've got to build it yourself. Uh-huh. We've got 150 software engineers, right? So here we've got we've got the team behind it, we've got the expertise, and so we come and then host it for people, and then we get set it up for them, and then they go, Oh, well, we would really like you to do this for us. No problem, we can do that. Okay, nice. And then if anything on the back of that, we can then commit back to the open source. So it's kind of like a circular loop. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now you, you mentioned it supports the Osmos. But Ospo, yeah. Ospo. But, yeah, but, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the open, open source program officers. Open so the, source the, program. the people within bit. It's generally a role that's in like much larger organizations. So okay. like a company like ours, we wouldn't have someone specifically in that role. But for a bigger organization, they would have. And it's for those people who are like, well, I've met loads of people that work for different large, large investment banks. Yeah. And they go, our staff are not allowed to commit to open source because we can't govern it. Got it. We can't oversee it. Would you? allows them to do it. Nice. That's pretty that's pretty interesting. Well listen, um Storm, thank you very much for your time and, and helping me learn more about um woodchip, turntable and so forth. I really appreciate it. No worries now be nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. The money is essential. Knowing the business drivers that inspire how the money is made is crucial. Bridging the gap between the mind of the technologist and the mind of the business is monumental. That is what TBF is all about. Let's start this never-ending conversation. It's time.